So let's say that I wanted to put this duck behind the sand dune. Now, in order to do that, what I would have to do is I would need to cut this sand dune out, put it in front, and in that way, have it so the duck is behind it. So I'm going to introduce the lasso tool. The way the lasso tool works is you click, and then every time between each of these clicks, so you can see that I just kind of keep clicking, every time between each of these clicks, a line forms. And it works exactly like a pair of scissors. And by exactly like a pair of scissors, I mean, it's not sharp, you can't cut yourself on it, but you're able to, it's nothing like a pair of scissors. That was just an analogy, the use of the word exact was inexact, don't worry about it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click until I get to that original point. And when I get to the original point, I just double click. And that creates an active region in whatever shape I want. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control C to copy. And you'll notice could not compete copy because it's on the wrong layer. If ever there's a problem, the first place to look is are you on the right layer? In this case, we can see that the duck layer is selected. In fact, let's call this duck. And the dune layer is not selected. So if I go to dune, uh, press on it, and then hit Control C, and then Control V to paste, it pastes right here. Now we're running into a problem. And that problem is that it didn't paste exactly where we wanted it to. Instead, it kind of moved it over to the left a little bit. So let's undo that. And instead of just pressing Control V to paste, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Edit, Paste Special, and go to paste in place. And now it will paste directly there. Now it looks like nothing has happened. Jeremy, you didn't paste it at all. <laughs> you did nothing. This is embarrassing. What an embarrassing teacher you are. You have accomplished, stop making fun of me. Okay? Just stop it. Okay. Here's what happened. That was really mean. Uh, uh, what happened was it pasted, uh, it pasted the layer, but because it is directly on top of the other layer, you can't see that that's happening. So I can actually move this right here, and uh, there's, there's two layers here, only because it's the same thing and it's directly on top of it, you can't see. So now, if I move this duck here, well, nothing's happening, but if I sandwich it between the layer and itself, you can see that it's now ducking out, peeking out behind the mountains. Now, you can see that there's this little blue line that we don't want right here. So in order to, do, to get rid of that, I'm just going to go into this lasso tool, and I'm just going to go a little bit further, deeper, to make this happen. Uh, those of you who have used Photoshop uh, in the past uh, probably know there's a few better ways to do what I'm showing right here. Don't worry, I'll be showing that later. All right, and I'm gonna press delete in order to delete everything in the active region. Now notice, what happened isn't what I wanted. Whenever there's a problem, the first place to look is if you're on the wrong layer. So let's undo that, and I can see that I'm on the duck layer, and I wanna be on the dune layer. So I'm gonna hit delete, and again, what I wanted didn't happen. I wanna get rid of that blue lane. And what, instead, I deleted out from the dune layer, not what I want, from the bottom dune layer as opposed to the top dune layer. So I'm going to go here, press delete, this time I'm on the right layer, deselect just by clicking, and it works. Giant ducky is there. So that looks pretty good, and those are the basics of the lasso tool.